so let's jump right in the party um has been for various reasons taken um an unknown amount of time has passed uh and suddenly you draw your first breaths uh and this is all you hear you guys fall forward coming and looking back you see that you've each come out of these long pillars of ice there are all these strange little uh almost fey elemental creatures i'm posting a picture in the discord some of them are standing on top of you some of them are kind of crowded around the ice you're in a very large rectangular room with the multiple doors leading out uh one to the north south east and west um going to the discord to post the picture very strange little creatures uh Kyle, you kind of roll over and you're, you're taking your first breath and uh, you see one of them kind of on your chest and it's just kind of humming at you. It's got a little fork in its hand. Uh, do we know our... Was, anyway. You do not remember anything about... Oh, go ahead and make a history check. Okay. Let's see what you remember. All right, let's see you. what my history and 13. You can go over to the Kyol channel to see it. Make sure you agree to the the rules and assign yourself some rules. A 13. Okay. You do remember your name. Uh, you remember how to be stealthy, but all of your sneak attack and all of your other bonuses and abilities are lost to you right now. Okay, and you said this thing was on my chest? Or it's on your chest, just standing there. It's a tiny little thing. All right, well, I'm going to... You And it kind of, it almost in slow motion, just kind of drifts into the air and does a little... And then it kind of slowly floats onto the ground and kind of jabs at you a little bit with a fork. You don't take any damage or anything like that. I'll start to swat at it with my foot okay as i stand up and back away after after kick swatting at it in enough times it just dissipates yeah that's right you look around and you see three others sitting up can i roll history to see if i remember any of them you would not know them not know them already there is one standing on your head I'm gonna swat at it like head? a gnat. Is there one on my head? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Does it have a fork? No. This one has a small. <laughs> this one has a small like um paperclip. I'm gonna try and take the paperclip from it. <gasps> okay. <laughs> you, you, okay. <laughs> you 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 easily take the paper clip um let me go to the page super fast uh page two, two i'm pulling a lot from icewind dale for this one fair enough what's our gear situation like uh you're barely clothed all right yeah i'm gonna start looking around for something sharp yeah. okay uh you see um you see a small piece of this ice that you've been bar that you've been trapped in and sconced in, and you kind of pick it up, and it's kind of cold to the touch. Uh, it's painfully cold to the touch, but not to the point where you're taking damage. Um, this thing, you you take the paperclip from it, and with its <laughs> with its dexterity of twenty, it darts forward and is just trying to get it back, and just kind of swatting at you. I, I give it like a, I give it like the one minute, please. Uh, and do I remember how to use tools at all? As, Make a history check. Paper clip. 12 plus 5, 17. 17? Okay. Yeah. You do remember who you are. You remember you're a tinkerer, um, and you can have your proficiencies. Ah, uh, yeah. Hey, you over there, Drow. Who are you? Uh... We'll say Kyle. That's a damn fine name. I had a sure. brother named Kyle. Ooh. Hmm. Era, go ahead and make a history yeah. check. You too, Garak. 
We'll lean into it. What do you have there? Is that a paperclip? Yeah. 14. I don't know if I know what a paperclip is. That it's a it's a metallic device for holding several pulp of pulsified uh, trees that are compressed into thin sheets. Heathens call it paper clips. Heathens? Oh, that was incredibly <laughs> specific I'm description start, for something very am basic. I, am, am, am I just like sitting or am I tied? You are you are able to move. You have so you guys were trapped within true ice. Ice. Um, oh, okay, okay. Uh, sorry, black ice. Um, and you for some reason have been let out. You think maybe these little uh, tiny little elementals have had something to do with it. Oh, okay. I give the paperclip back to the elemental. <gasps> okay, then you get a magical gift. You get a charm. Roll a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven charms. Roll a d8, and if you get an eight, reroll. Eight. It's my That's a three. It's my Jerry rigged three. Okay. <laughs> charm of cold resistance. This charm allows you to give your resistance to cold damage as an action. This benefit lasts for 24 hours, after which the charm vanishes. I hastily put the charm on, and then I activate it. Okay. I was just going to say, you guys are also bitingly cold. Yeah. Um, what's your name? Already, you're for, you like, oh, feel yourself relaxed, but everyone else is actually, like, so cold. It's, like, a primary need. Um, and as you look around, you see that the walls are caked in ice, and there's crusted snow on the ground that's crunchy. Um, the ceiling itself is ice as well. But only these, these black ice pillars behind you, uh, you are, are the actual magical black ice. You do see one more pillar in the corner of the room uh, with the that's made of black ice. And you can see some kind of figure in it. Um, but you're not aware of any way to be able to affect it and undo the ability. Um. Hmm. I'm, I'm good. I'm going to start going up to other people i'm gonna start asking them if they have anything to make i'm gonna go up to um jake's character uh what's your character's name the rook oh uh, i go hey you wouldn't happen to have any fire tools right i could i could make us a, a fire get you all warmed up look down at my nearly naked form with a you know like i have nothing so a 14 history check and what was yours garuk uh 12. 12? Okay. Uh, Mine was a 17 history yeah. check. Um, the two of you, um, along with Kyle, um, do remember your names and you remember your proficiencies. I'm, uh, I'm already, by the way, uh, I don't know uh, how some sort of, my mind's real foggy right now. Some sort of engineer. I don't exactly remember what I was doing, though. You hear in the distance, many rooms away. You are indoors, by the way. You're in some kind of ornate mansion that is not cursed, but disturbingly wrong. Mm -hmm. um, pictures are hanging upside down. Candles in their candelabra are hanging upside down. Um, the doorknobs are too high, as if the doors itself are upside down. Um, but there is, as you sweep away some of the... the uh, snow the crunchy snow there is like a, an old ruined rug on the floor you hear many rooms away yeah okay um with the door situation like there are four doors one to each corner of the compass so where's the door that's farthest away from that sound that would be to the east sound came from the west then i'm gonna start looking at the door to the east okay you approach keeping that. a wary eye on the rest of the people that are in the room okay uh you approach said door um door handles too high go ahead and uh do what you want to do with that it's just a simple door um slightly ornate but doesn't seem locked or ajar oh 
okay. Uh, is there anything else in this room as a, uh, like furniture-y? There's a couple bones. That's not furniture. <laughs> uh. um, okay, well... Uh, which one of the characters is the tallest? <laughs> Probably the orc. Uh, maybe the orc. <laughs> Hey, Orc. <laughs> you awake? Oh. Just give me a little boost. <laughs> All right. Open this door. Boost. He comes over and he kind of, <laughs> he kind of just grabs you by the waist and like hoists you up a bit, and you manage to turn the knob, and you hear it slowly open. Um. Immediately warm light washes in from a nice hallway no ice to see or speak of um dimly lit uh and the the light is wavering and moving and as you kind of you know subtly take a little peek out it's into this long corridor hallway uh you see floating uh lanterns um of invisible unseen servants um Seems like they're all very preoccupied, though. Make a perception check. Mm, ten. Ten. Okay. Um. You you turn and look down the other side of the hall, and you realize one of them is actually very close to you, um, but does not seem to be affected by your presence at all. Um, and again, you're very cold. So some kind of heat source is going to be necessary in soon. Even even from this hallway that doesn't isn't encased with all the snow, it's bone cold. You can hear wind howling outside. Uh, two doors, and then the hallway corridor wraps around, almost as if this rectangular room is surrounded by this hall. Okay. And you said the. Unseen servants are like circling, like just going about their business, walking. doing stuff. Oh, okay, okay. Are they moving in and out of the hallway? Yeah, you see one okay. so. kind of uh, open up one door in this hallway and kind of move in, and the door closes. Okay. Yeah, anybody know anything about these uh, floating hands? Um, I can cast Unseen Servant as a spell. Does this jog my memory of anything? I like that. Let's roll. Uh, make a history check at advantage. That's good. That is great. 19 plus 5 is 24. Nice. What's your... what uh, Unseen Servant, what kind of spell is that? That is what one of my spell? Artificer, uh, Artificer spells. It is a... Uh, conjuration spell. You remember all your conjuration spells. It is also one of my spells from being from the fact that I my background is is it engineer. Do I also gain my other is it engineer spells? It begins. You remember that you are an engineer and that you have other spells now, but no, you get all of your okay. uh, spells in that school. Okay. What do I have with conjuration? Just that. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> oh well. Well, mostly evocation. <laughs> I'll figure it out eventually. Um, um are, are any of the little dudes carrying um so, something that could be considered a tool? Make a perception check. Like a smith's tool, wood carver's tool. Um that is 15. Okay. Uh two of them are holding on to like um like a monkey wrench kind of a tool. Uh they're kind of like tug of warring it. Um and uh this would be a smith's tool take that as you will i i lean down over them and i place my hand out they both stop look up at you <laughs> i like plead i make my a, a very cute face it doesn't it, okay yeah uh make a persuasion check these things do not seem to be capable of understanding or speaking speech okay that is a 
Yes, 19 minus 1, 18. Okay, they both kind of look at each other, and then they hand it, they, they kind of float up a little bit and place it in your hand, and then they go, and then they skip away hand in hand. Okay. Okay, now that I have this, I'm going to, I can do a few things. I'm going to now ritual cast um, Unseen Servant. Okay. Take 10 minutes quickly. 10 minutes? Um, okay. Actually, you know what? Not Maybe not. Not yet. I'm going to... Wait, I've got a smith tool now. I can light the rug on fire for warmth. I've got I can cast firebolt now. Not this rug. It's covered in snow. It's too cold. It's too cold for Smash Bros. It's too cold. Okay. <laughs> Frick. Um <laughs> What's everyone else doing? Oh uh, yeah. I'll sing that the, the uh, an elf, I guess. You can put you can put me down. <laughs> you can put me down. <laughs> Thanks. You didn't, didn't say when, so I just, yeah. Uh... But I mean, I was a little confused by the floating hand things. I, but it seems like they don't freak out and there are alert floating hands. Things. You like take I a mean, look. look. Look for yourself. <laughs> just, just <laughs> orc and <in> elf. <laughs> <laughs> These are unseen servants. I don't. But it looks like they're not alerting anything, so I'm gonna step out into the hallway and maybe check a door or two. Okay, uh, you can go north or south, um, and then the two doors are on the uh, easterly way. And then, of course, as I was saying, the hallway does wrap around to the west of this rectangular room that you started in. Okay. Uh... Do you guys want me to do compass or right left? Let's do compass. Okay. Yeah. Compass is easiest. Okay. So what door did what door is Jared at right now? He is it, so you guys start in this big rectangular room and he went to the east because of a noise to the west. Okay. The hallway runs north to south and wraps around the rectangular room. On the easterly side there are two doors. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go try one of the doors. Okay. It's a, directly across from us, I guess. Do you want me to pick which door or would you like to Sure. I mean, I, if they look exactly the same, go for they it. look exactly the same. Okay. okay. Um, you walk up to the southerly door, and uh, you try the lock, and you uh, slow and, and oh, sorry. Yeah, you said you want to go through the door. I'm just checking them. Yeah, I mean, okay. Not necessarily like stepping into. You can any see. Rooms. You can see light under the door frame, uh, kind of moving back and forth. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe not that door first. Okay. Uh, going over to the other one, it is dark. That's the one I would like to try. Okay, you're gonna try the door. Okay. Uh, you. Nothing happens. And you open it a peek, and it's a dark room full of many, many, many outfits, um, uh, mostly ballroom gowns, um. And you see a large double bay window, uh, with with just white through the through the glass. Okay. Uh, do any of those outfits look like they'll fit? You see one ballroom gown. gown. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was gonna say you find a corset. Um, uh, you kind of stepping in. You see one like large cloak. Uh, not large, but a cloak that would fit. Albeit slightly too big. Perfect. Comes, goes right over the shoulders. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm almost, you know, since we're freezing to death slowly. Mm -hmm. I mean, you were no, now you're still very cold, but you're not freezing to death. That was the purpose. Yeah. Yeah. That's the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's a, uh, I'll kind of peek back out. There's clothes in here. Uh, Garrett just kind of. Rushes there to get only literally anything. Left. <laughs> well, while everyone leaves, I'm gonna pick up three rocks and I'm gonna imbue them with the sounds of light breathing, um, like and place them on our chairs so that people might so that if something were to come to the door, they might hear us breathing on the inside. Like, yeah, they're still there, just in case. Okay. All right. And then I'm gonna follow them to the clothes. Era, what you doing? Ira has been like dramatically shivering the entire time and walking around to each of the little creatures and just going, hello, hello, hello. 
Okay. But as soon as she sees she was close, she's like, close? And just like runs over to it. Okay. Uh, as you as you dart away, a bunch of them like follow you. <laughs> <laughs> just keeping up, uh, but still almost like astronauts, kind of just like moon, slow, slow step, but managing to keep up with you. Um, go ahead and roll a d8 for me. And if you roll a a, reroll. Four. Interesting. Um, Charm of Snowball Strike. This charm is five charges. As a bonus action, you can expend one of the charm's charges to create a magical snowball in your hand and throw it. You must have a hand free to hold the snowball or the charge is wasted. Snowball is a magic ranged weapon with which you are proficient. It has a normal range of 20 feet and a long range of 60 feet. It deals 1d4 cold damage on a hit. And if it scores a critical hit, with a 19 or 20, uh, the target is blinded until the end of the next turn. Very useful. The snowball vanishes immediately after you hit or miss with it, or at the end of your turn if you don't throw it. Once all the charges are expended, the charm vanishes. She's gonna, thank you, and then pick it up and put it on. And you rush into the room. Uh, the four of you are in this room. You can hear the wind howling out through the Great Bay window. Again, it's like a, it's like a really large walk-in closet. Oh my God, a moon! <laughs> oh, you can't see it! I didn't think about this. <laughs> oh. There's a moon, and <clears throat> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, yay! Thank you, Luna. You're a lifesaver. <laughs> um. like roughly 300 300 sets of clothes you can see one one station of the room where uh there's a big mirror uh and it's like a makeup station there are clothes that might fit me make an investigation check what's your race human human yeah uh, oh don't be sorry friend of 22 22 you find um you find some basic rudimentary like a like a nightgown kind of a thing <laughs> um but thick enough that it, that it can help keep you warm even though it's not so much of a problem for you i i just I put it on for modesty <laughs> and, and i'm gonna i'm gonna <laughs> tear off a bottom of it a portion of it and i'm just gonna i'm gonna place it on the ground and be like i can quickly make a fire if you guys want to warm up before we start trying to escape if well, you guys want to try and escape i fancy you don't really have i'm gonna glance around the room for a, a somewhere for the smoke to escape <laughs> mm, you don't see much uh yeah maybe a fire is not a great idea garuk 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 sorry um with your past perception of 15, you notice something on the table of the makeup station. Oh. Aside from old, so crusted like over, ex uh, expired makeup um, and brushes and the like, uh, you're relatively smart. You don't really l immediately like look at your reflection in the mirror, but in doing so, keeping your eye on the table, you see a small locket. And woven around it is, it, it, and for a for an actual necklace braid piece, it looks like uh, human hair. The locket is open, and it's the face of a young gentleman. And the other side of it, because it's a like a like a locket that opens two pictures. Right. Uh, right. The other one is a young woman. Make a history check. Cool. Ugh. It's only a 10. Okay. The young man, you got nothing. The young woman looks familiar. Uh, someone from Ice Home. You're not from Ice Home, but you've been there a few times. And this looks like someone important from Ice Home. 
you can see the note on you see a letter under it um and uh seems to be some note in a feminine hand you can oh in a small bottle of perfume um some of which has been put onto the letter uh seems like it was never sent the letter because it's old and fragile but it's it's a poem and at the at the bottom in a less flowing script same hand uh with little tear marks saying um we can never be together Jost. Big oof. i am to be married i'm so sorry do not worry for me he will take good care of me one day he will be jarl The poem goes uh, as such. Is it, is it is it Ice Queen Daughter Chick? <laughs> it's Ice Queen Daughter Chick. Oh, it. that's why she's flirty with that's Ziller. Because she yeah, yeah. she's unhappy in her marriage. <laughs> <laughs> we bow to she who wore the crown. Let the world shiver with dread. Clad in winter's whitest gown, her snow enshrouds the dead. Her fury sheds but frozen tears as gray clouds issue forth. Her wind across the wasteland shears, her bringing blizzards from the north. Ice-kissed flowers caught mid-bloom, beauty kept in all its grace. Summer's gone to its silent tomb, still in her cold embrace. All the worlds in winter white, sheathed in ice and sorry, sheathed in sleet and ice, set upon never-ending night, she conjures paradise. Behold her everlasting rhyme. See how it covers all. Weep not for those she traps in time behind her glacier wall. Sovereign of summer's lost, general of winter's war, long live the queen of cold and frost. May she reign forevermore. So she did this. Who's that? This pendant. Who's gonna lock it? upon wearing it once per long rest a crit that hits you does no damage but instead heals for that much mm. i will wear this forever <laughs> <laughs> i will wear this until it gets to arthos <laughs> i'm pretty sure arthos is maxed out so yeah maybe <laughs> unless it doesn't require attunement because then uh, it would be fine. I'd have to check, but uh, no guarantees. Artie's going to go over to where um, <clears throat> his and go, who's that, who's that in the locket? Uh, you said she was familiar. Do I remember? Now that you've read the letter, um, you still don't know who Gost is, whoever that is. Right. Um, but this is the Frost Maiden. Um the daughter of the frost witch in ice home who will who has by now undergone the um manipulations in the rituals to become the next frost witch i tell him that mm. hey. <laughs> <laughs> drama <laughs> She should have followed her heart and you been know, with Gost instead. She should have. I bet Gost is sounds a like nice a, guy. Sounds like a great guy. Sounds like a really nice person who definitely didn't <laughs> kill someone in cold blood. Is he just a simp? Is he just a simp and he's sad and that's why he's killing people? Dang, what a simp loser. If Ziller ever finds this out, he's bringing it up every second he sees him. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope so. <laughs> Means we have to survive so these characters can move on. Oh, You'll get got, this, boy. <laughs> this is the magic item that Artie wants. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> right. oh, heck, Armulf, thanks for the follow. Golden Hourglass, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Uh, so what in the way of clothing is left in this room? Mostly ornate ball gowns. <laughs> Are there any that look warm? 
once again. You could layer like four of pretty them. Much <laughs> between pretty much everything. Between freezing to death and wearing a dress. Everything is a step up from what you currently are at. All right. Half orc in a corset. Let's go. <laughs> in a ball gown. Not laced properly because <laughs> how does that even work? But uh, I will say, Aira. Aira? Ira. Ira, sorry. Um, you see he's like fiddling with the with the back strings and he's struggling with it. It's like, can I help? Sure, but don't don't tie it like super tight. I don't I don't have that kind of figure. No promises. <laughs> Breaks his rib. <laughs> Aww. Am I helping? golden hourglass yes uh you you do pull it a little tight and he actually cuts a pretty great figure with the with the corset he's got that he's got those curves um golden hourglass says hello everyone just finished offbeats campaign did a great job by the way you're an awesome dm oh thanks man appreciate it stick around for this one bep's also a good dm <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a worse player <laughs> <laughs> that's not true you're a great player Thorn him, pain in my Does ass, but you know, whatever. <laughs> What's that? Does this dress have sleeves? No, but it does have pockets. Oh, that's great. I'm going to take another dress and just like oh, rip the, okay. um, like the gown part off or okay. whatever. And I'm going to like fashion like a wrap okay. of some kind. So my okay, so top everyone's... is also covered and not You freezing. start ripping that and you hear, and you pause. And you look up, and there is a living spell. It's a it's a giant hand, uh, and on its back is strapped a bunch of like sewing needles and stuff, and it lands down in the center of the room, kind of crawls a bit um, towards you. Okay. And uh, it's it's just a hand, a monstrous hand, and it, and it. If we let it catch us, it'll take us to the beginning of the dungeon. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Thanks, Zelda. A little bit of awkward time in there. <laughs> old people in the chat. It tries to grapple you. Oh. <laughs> Easy escape. Let's go. Cool. Don't suppose I know how to do guidance yet, huh? Uh, I would say not. Okay. Due to everyone mentioning, like, fire and like and wanting fire is it is there a way i've learned i remember how to cast firebolt or in my evocation spells not yet that, that's uh that's that's a, a one taking a picture putting it in the discord oh, minus one. Oh <laughs> no bastard uh i still gotta roll wait so um you got a you got a zero i have a zero yes <laughs> you you win we'll see Always take the benefit of the doubt. Oh, it's sideways. I apologize. But uh, you get the idea. I'm in a rush. Oh, yeah. That's a three. Um, yeah. Let's uh, roll initiative. And... Uh, I don't do any damage. Well, it's restraining. <laughs> it's restraining Garuk. Well, in, in good news, I got a nat 20 on initiative. Plus three is 23, so... <laughs> Throw it in the chat. And I can't Ugh. use any of my class abilities. Uh, Sucks. Yep. This is this is the worst. <laughs> I hate this. I can give myself advantage on initiative rolls. Your but escape no, DC. I can't. Your escape DC is fifteen. <laughs> Good luck, <to> Nick. <laughs> Fat chance. <laughs> yeah. You don't have any proficiencies. Nope. They went elsewhere. I'm just gonna have to beat this thing to death with a wrench. <laughs> what what can I, I do like while restrained? Icicle. I got like a black icicle, but I can't use it. I mean, I'm not gonna be proficient. Or maybe I will. Am I proficient with my black icicle since it's a base? Uh, yeah, attack? you have all your proficiencies. Oh, okay, cool. What is? Would you qualify a wrench as a simple weapon? Sure. Right, that. It's basically a club. Yeah. Oh, but, yeah. Kyle. But music. Strength sucks. Artie. All right, Artie, you're up first. And I've got no spells. Nope. Nothing. Nothing. I'm a spellcaster, you dick. 
<laughs> Ooh, random this, inspiration. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not telling you the, the oh, thing I'll I figured out I can do with the Mizium apparatus. <laughs> Two. Jake, you get inspiration thanks to McTwoggle. Thank you so much. I'm saying that name wrong. <laughs> All right. Oh, otherwise. Can I craft an Eldritch? Can I craft my Eldritch cannon? Is that a conjuration spell? No. Mm -hmm. It is a class feature. This. Fine. I'm just going to run up to it and whack it with the wrench. That's another crit. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Double damage from your wrench. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a club. Clubs are D6, right? Yep. Yep. D6 plus strength mod. God, so that's minus one. That's Colonel six. gave inspo. My apologies. That I did that six totally back. Bludgeoning, six bludgeoning damage from a wrench. <laughs> six bludgeoning damage? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Also, and that inspiration came from Colonel, and I'm a bad person. That is all I can do. Okay. Uh, Kai. Thank you, Colonel. All right, I guess I'm going to run up and stab it. All right, roll the hit. <clears throat> All right, uh, 17 to hit. 17 hits. I assume this is basically a dagger. Yeah. It does Good old. Uh, an additional d4 of cold damage. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, Whoa! Alora redeemed a random it. member, gets a d20 HP, going to here. Jared. Go ahead oh, hey. and nice. uh, roll a d20 and add that as 10 hit points. Oh, okay, cool. I didn't take any damage. That was seven damage also from high, me, Laura. by the way. Seven damage. <laughs> I rolled that big old two. Thanks for, the, <laughs> thanks for the attempt. I really appreciate it. I do appreciate it. That sounded sarcastic, but it wasn't. Supposed <laughs> no, to he's be. just mad at the dice. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, I'm mad at the dice. <laughs> Okay. Oh god, that really scary D that really scary D4 that I almost stepped on earlier is gone. You deserve it! <laughs> <laughs> so I will say so far, not a lot of noise has been made. And that's important. I remember how to cast spells and get our equipment back. We'll get there, buddy, don't worry. Um, Kyle, are you done? Yep. All right. The hand is going to squeeze. Ow. <laughs> My guts. He takes six points of damage. Aria, 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 Ira. Ira. Sorry. <laughs> You're fine. I'm just gonna write these down. All right. I have nothing, but I have horns on my head, so I'm gonna use them. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna ram it. Uh, all right. Roll the hit. Thank you, Jake. You got a 19 to hit. 19 to hit. 19 hits. Uh, roll a d4. Four. All right. <laughs> Garuk. All right, what can I do while restrained? Uh, attempt to not everything, be restrained. Everything you can, everything you can normally do, but uh, attacking it has disadvantage. Disadvantage. Okay. Yes, and you instantly fail dex saves. Dex and right. strength saves. Okay. So I don't have a weapon, so that wouldn't really do me much good. So I guess I'll attempt to break free. Okay. Oh my gosh, I didn't even need friggin' 16 minus 1. You man, yeah, that makes it. You managed Bam. to gosh, get out of the the hold of the of the large hand spell. <laughs> this is a living big beast hand. <laughs> well, oh god, stupid. Um Can I like try to remember more about anything? 
Not yet. Not right now. <sighs> yeah, then that's that's it. Again. Already. This thing's still angry. Yep. God. I'm gonna. Yeah, where is that defense? I'm going to. I don't know. Whack it again, I guess. Do you think whack is bonkers? Well, that's that's significantly what worse. That's that is a six minus one, so a five. That does not hit. Oh, I never would have guessed. <laughs> Maybe it's behind the. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Whose turn is it now? It is Kyle's turn. Let's see oh, if I can. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna hit it. <clears throat> Maybe. Does a twelve hit? A twelve does hit. Ah oh, check that out. Where my D4 is at. Death dice. Six damage how would you like to do this with a icicle i don't i don't have any of my like <laughs> fancy you yeah. know so you, it's just... you get in behind one tendon and just <laughs> pull it out and it dies and back to this music <sighs> can't wait mm -hmm. to find more of those in this uh freaking you know, I heard an urban legend back when I was a boy that if those things grab you, they take you back to your house. Why didn't you say this before? <laughs> I don't know. I was scared. <laughs> I wouldn't have, ki that wouldn't have killed they him. They lie. It just, it just squeezes you. Oh. Oh. You guys yes. feel the house shift and maybe, creak. As maybe the... they have to die first, and then they take you back. Your corpse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Garrick is just gonna like angrily look at the hand and continue ripping the dress like stupid hand, stupid hand. Okay, you managed to get you some sleeves this. and you wrap yourself a good bit, and now you no longer are dying of cold. Yay! Ira is gonna find a, herself a, a dress, like okay. the most like elegant yet like functional one she can, and it has to have pockets. Okay, make a uh, investigation check. Can I help? At advantage. There's a 18. 18? You succeed. Uh, the house... peek back into the hallway, yeah. You peek back into the hallway. Um, and you are very lucky. Because you peek and you see this horrifying dog-like creature on the ceiling slowly just prowling uh in the opposite direction it's back toward turn to you you can see blood dripping from its snout immediately like <laughs> you know yeah that growly thing from earlier is outside Probably. No, I, I do know how to make one of those guys with the hands. I mean, do you think we're safe here for 10 minutes or is it better to just be fast? I mean, it passed us up already when we was stabbing the thing hand. So, so we'll do it. I don't. I'm going to slowly start writing stuff in the ground, just like like very lightly into the ground. Okay. So my math equations to spawn the the unseen servant. Okay. Xbox Gamer, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome to the pine cones. Um as he's doing that, everyone feels the house creak and shift as the wind outside changes direction and seems to be slapping up against the uh um buffeting the window of the bay window. Might inspect the window while he's casting okay. his spell. You go up to the window and you see that it's locked from this side. Hmm. 
What if I looked at the lock again? Okay. Longingly. You see that? Oh, I see. Make a history check. <laughs> <laughs> I just got that. <laughs> it took me a second to. Are we really going to swing with a freaking. No, it's 11. No new developments. Ten minutes gonna, pass. How oh, okay. how thick does that glass feel? Not super. I'm gonna mentally make a note of where this room is. Okay, I assume I, I can't see through it. It's it's real. Uh, it's what real you do white. see is just fog, just white. It's not the glass, and you imagine you might be right. somewhere in the frost fox. <clears throat> So no, uh, no, not really sure how high. It's also the dead of winter out there. Is it like, is there any light or is it just? It's light. Yep. Like it's like daytime. Hmm. Just gray white. How many hours until like evening? You don't know. Ten minutes pass. In Kiel? No, no, no. There is a very pleasant summer in Kiel. In the southerly half of Kiel. <laughs> Not in the high places. <laughs> Not north of the shelf. Ten minutes pass. I, I've got to solve the math. Every time I ritual cast, I have to solve a series of complicated mathematical equations. They have nothing to do with the spell. And up, <laughs> and up appears these two little hands. Okay. You cast a spell, and very far away, under you, you hear... <laughs> Guys, I think I screwed up. And it fades. I didn't like that. I didn't like that either. No. Okay, unseen servant. Let's Glad I can't this. cast spells. Sire. <laughs> Good sire. <laughs> I really touched the bullet. Okay. So, <laughs> you are a mind. know what I can do, but visible, shapeless medium force. Of course. You can only perform simple tasks. Yes. Okay. So here's what's going on. You got Nate. I, I don't know what's happening. I need you to go out there. Sir? Um, Are you uh, unwell, sir? I'm dying, I think. Oh. I don't know. We're kidnapped. Unwell? I, not can, good. Sire! Arty! Why do you Arty. not cast flame? I can cast flames? And he starts, Sir! You are an artificer! Okay, rem remind me what that means. Of course, sir! <laughs> <laughs> and uh he's not an artificer but you are now aware that you are missing <laughs> artificer spells okay. um and that uh you have an actual blank in your memory we must leave this at once i there. i agree i agree um these are some of my friends hello uh, that is that is, mm. that is kyle um and that is that is Aaron Aaron Ira uh, Aaron <laughs> Aaron Kyle <laughs> Arthur and uh George yeah yeah <laughs> Garth <laughs> Gareth not even close Go to the right G sound but you know what all right, all right. <laughs> so um I we need do you do you have any idea at all? We're, we, you're mindless, supposedly, but thank you for reminding me of all this good information. Mindless, my invisible ass! <laughs> okay, good. You're, you're better than that. We're better than that. Uh, where is, uh, where, where would someone hide, uh, take my, 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 mem my memories, right? As by they've been taken. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> How close does that sound to us at this point? Barish away, but very loud, which is terrifying. Like loudish, 
the same amount as it was before? Or no, is it like, now it's coming from now it's, closer. now it's coming from the east. It was coming from below you. But now it's now it's coming. We're we're already east. on the east. Sorry, the west. You are on the easternmost part of the mansion. Um, I I think we need to leave this room and go into another room. Yeah, agreed. So yeah. Uh, I I quick I send out my unseen servant quickly and be like, check for check to see if there's anyone outside. Of course. <laughs> you see you see the door open. Only my kitten, sir. Excellent. Come, let's go. All okay. right. Uh, and then I I run to the next <laughs> is the next door over. Cause the door to the south. Like maybe want to be maybe want to be quiet. Yeah, roll maybe. for stealth. Yeah, we should. I'm just gonna tell you roll for stealth for everyone's sake, <laughs> so we don't have to end this one shot early. <laughs> uh, that is a twenty-two. Rolling like actual garbage today. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. You have your proficiencies. Mm-hmm. That's oh. after proficiencies. <laughs> Nineteen. Nineteen. 17. 17? Okay. Oh, I didn't have to roll disadvantage because I don't have my armor. 21. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, so you guys scoot your boots um, towards boots. the southerly door. The southerly door. Uh, again, you can see wavering light under the door frame. Um... I'm gonna open it. You open it. Mm -hmm. Well, like, yeah, I'm gonna like carefully and slowly like peek through first. You see multiple unseen servants attending to a very large weave, like a loam, um, and on it are all these strange veins, um, and you can see other veins and jars and the like. Um, those are encoded <laughs> thoughts. Oh. Magic. I'm gonna open the. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna like not run inside, but I'm gonna sneak inside very right. quickly. You go inside. I'm Everyone else follow. Everybody else to get in here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll follow last and keep an eye out of the door. I guess. Uh, so you're watching through the door. Yeah, like keep it cracked. Okay. Uh, because you're keeping it cracked, you see the thing come around the corner first. A massive hand grabbing the corner and <laughs> stepping it. It's hunched over to be able to fit in the um, in the hallway. I'm posting a picture on the Discord. Oops. What did I just do? Oh, that was offbeat. Okay. Like a picture appeared and I was like, hey. Um, what's everyone doing? I'm going, uh, these are, I'm uh, looking at those things, like, do I recognize what they are? Because of, I've recognized a lot of my magic now. Um, would you know what these are? I don't know. Studied magic. Make an arcana check at disadvantage. A, you said you put a picture of them up? Or... I am putting it up now. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> like that. Only a seven plus five equals twelve. Okay. Um, you've heard tale of memory strands being extract. You can th that people are able to extract and put memories into these f uh, fleshy Fibers. strands, almost vein-like things, and pass them on to other people. It seems like someone has been collecting people and taking their the memories of how to do things uh, for future use. And so you're in like a strange, essentially a library, a storeroom, a bookstore of, <laughs> of um, all these jars. And then you can see the unseen servants taking these things and weaving them into some strange, almost cloth-like um, piece of clothing, like a cape or something. To my unseen server, I'm gonna say, "Okay." Well, oh, hold on, sorry, real quick. Um, yeah. Kyle, you see that thing? <laughs> and it just shoulder checks through the door that you were in, not the door you're currently in. Through the right, through as the it does that, in. I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> just go ahead and shut the door the rest of the way. All of the unseen servants freeze as you hear just destruction in the next room over through the very thin wall. <laughs> Eventually the destruction, it goes on for about a minute. And then eventually I think it's sleeping Okay <laughs> Quietly Let's find our memories <laughs> That sounds Excellent Um Okay Um Unseen servant. Mercer! Quiet. Quiet. Mercer. Whisper. Parma. Would you happen to know which one of these would be my memories? I would not, sir. Do you know how to figure that out? The label, sir. Right. Thank you. I'm <laughs> of course, sir. I live to I'm start. I'm gonna start looking for A and for Artie. Okay. Let's start looking it's, for G. It's the second. It's the second one. Who's first? It says Arthalos. Artie, uh, Offbeat wants to take it. <laughs> <laughs> but Artie wouldn't. So Artie's just gonna nap on the one that says Artie. He's gonna put it in his brain. You get but a point of inspiration for playing in character. Yeah. He's gonna remember the name though. I, I, I think he'd remember it. It's an obscure name. It's an odd Just name. The first three... Yeah, it's an odd name. Be like Arthalos. Huh. Okay. And I, the I, jars. I, is it is it full of a memory or is that just like an empty like waiting to be? There is a coil of memory in it. <laughs> a veiny tendril in a jar. Like... For those who are new in chat, that is Jake's character in the what? main campaign. So there's a good chance that wherever we are, all of our main campaign characters have missing memories that we need to extract. So um, anyway, Zilla's gonna uh, not Zilla. Artie's gonna try and like put like re as he touches the strand. Does anything happen? Yeah. So you grab your jar and you open it up, and the strain. <laughs> oh man i feel like someone just tested me for covid <laughs> <laughs> and all of your artificer you're, you you get, retain all of your memories uh you vaguely remember working in your room in your in your workshop and someone just bashing you over the head unconscious uh or whatever you get taken in some way that makes sense <laughs> i see okay we gotta find everyone's memory strands everyone runs up and because it's everyone gets their memories back in the same disturbing fashion in uh in um ira's case it like slides under one of her fingernails and slide and you feel it go up your up your shoulder and into your brain mm. oh, so step one <laughs> just dump the icicle on the floor Okay. Don't need that. It slowly starts freezing the, no, the area around it. Take it. Pick it up. I don't want it. I pick it up. All right, you <laughs> pick it up. Hurts way. to touch, but it's it's there. I, I just put it. It's black ice. Um, but, okay. I, now that I'm here. Which is um, the magical ghost ice, by the way. Okay. I'm going to like slot. I'm just like put it in my bathrobe. Um, do I... Um, <laughs> I love it. The cannon there. I want that art <laughs> chat. Make it happen. Okay. okay. That and Garrick in a dress <laughs> with a different dress and sleeves, and then like wrapped yeah, yeah, yeah. around the mangled yeah. uh, third dress and a corset. Need... Okay. What do we need right now? Just grumpy. Probably. Okay. Um, we should be careful with using our abilities because that that hammer thing is probably going to come back. In Garuk's case, uh the vein like slides in the side of your eye and in uh kyle's case he he hey, sees dear. all of this happening to everyone else and he's like mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, and 
you take it and you go, <laughs> real fast. Just, oh, <laughs> and deal with it. <laughs> Unless, of course, he doesn't. Yeah, it's your character. I'm just, just think it's funny or, you know, moving, the, moving it along. Okay, now that we're here, what do we do? Looking about the room, um, there is another bay window. What? <laughs> <laughs> you will be taken. That is 100% what I told them yesterday or this morning when I, when we were talking about I was like, you guys have been taken. <laughs> You're not even going to remember who you were. <laughs> this is sad. <laughs> And everybody gets their classes and full memories back and the like, if I didn't already say that. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to look around this room to see if our equipment is here. Okay. Um, you search about the room. Nope. It's just this this station for this weave is, is the centerpiece of the room. And there's roughly five of these unseen servants just slowly stranding these memory uh, strands of, of veininess and then like a loam and, and trying to, you know, weave it all together into some strange setup. Um, the DM's making an abomination. <laughs> I, think, I think we're done here, so. Yeah. I'm gonna peek back out into the hallway. Okay. Um, you see nothing but unseen servants carrying their candles and their lamps. It's clear for the moment. If this were a video game, I would wait for the monster to pass again before I left. You hear but... the snoring. <laughs> the snoring or? No, the dog on the ceiling. Oh, the dog on the ceiling. That's fair. Well, oh, I forgot about the dog on the ceiling. Cast. You're welcome. Cast without trace. You're casting magic? Let's not cast Wait, magic. Wait, no, I can't. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> With the thing within a very thin wall's <laughs> distance. All right. He could let's see just, us. <laughs> let's just un. Let's let's just with my unseen servant. Like, okay. Let's just leave. And then just very quietly. Yeah. Gonna sneak out of here. Yeah. Stealth. As you guys uh, are farther down the hall. As you guys are going, um, I'll you're you're the last person to kind of leave, and you see. In one corner, a tiny, tiny little, um, almost discarded by accident, this tiny little leather pouch. I guess I'll go. This I'm has to pick it up. two uses of the dust of disappearance. Hey. When used, you take some dust and you, huh, and everything within 10 feet of you, items, people turns invisible for I believe t 1d4 minutes I mean in that case what we could do I mean this thing's gonna go on a rampage in near the area so once we get far enough away we just toss up that then um a a a Aaron uh Aira can cast pass without trace and then we can just keep moving along because then we won't leave a trace and we'll be invisible for a bit that could be our plan but we should probably do that further along all right then let's <clears throat> stealth into this hallway maybe i've got all my low low rolls out of the way we can no no nope, 11 11 18 15 I'm, uh, just gonna freaking... inspiration <laughs> oh no switching to this Oh wait, I can use guidance because I know my spells. Still every bit as oh, low. No, 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 don't cast a spell. Oh, don't cast I can't spell. because of the spell. Don't cast spell. Gross. <laughs> Could have just played the fighter I wanted to play. That don't right. spells. <laughs> Should just. Oh, I can't wait to come back here and then absolutely destroy this thing as our main party. <laughs> That's an eleven. In 11. Okay. Uh, you hit a very creaky board. 
and everyone kind of freezes as you hear it. Yeah. And you hear. Yeah, okay. Continue okay. on, I guess. After okay. a... Are you going southerly or northerly? So just uh, to the, like this completely encircles that center room we came from, right? Yes. I'm going to pick up three more rocks and I'm going to attach the smell of myself to the rock. I'm going to hide it in the loom room. Okay. And that's my magic. So that's not, a spell. not that's a spell. That's a, okay. A you do that. You. Yeah. So now, in. just so that the party knows, class features do not activate the big scary in that case as well i'm going to uh create an eldritch cannon just like quickly i'm just gonna like in the middle of this hallway not in the middle of the hallway i'll back back in safety i'll find a place and okay. then, okay, then i'll make that and i can give us some temp hp Okay. Monkey wrench. I will say all of the twingas, the little tiny fey and elemental things, are still just skipping along behind uh, Ira. That's cute. Do I make my Eldritch Cannon? Yes. Okay. It looks exactly like a Smith & Wesson revolver <laughs> with legs. And when I hold it, it, has, it doesn't have legs. When I put it on the ground, it's like, boink. And then I go like, I pull back the trigger and I go, and then everybody, you now have um, eight temporary hit points. Hey, putting Jake at 10. <laughs> they don't, they oh, don't, no, that was they, Jared. they don't stack sadly. So unless you want them to, just let me know. It would overwrite. Do you hmm. want it to stack? Cause it was a stream feature. I mean, you need it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. All right. So is the party going north or south? If you go north, you have to pass by the big scary. Yeah. Then the other way. Let's okay. Go the other way. Going around the southerly side of the um, hallway, you see an even longer corridor. Um, you pass by a couple of open doors. Uh, Two of them have just bedrooms that have long been in disuse. Um, you just, the only thing of note in there is that uh, you see a fair amount of hiding spots. Um, the third room is a very large bedroom, and you can see through the window a balcony. Hmm. Kind of want to investigate that. Okay. Yeah, so creep in there. You kind of, well, you peek around the room and uh, you see a snowman in one corner. A very lumpy, disfigured snowman. And all of the twingas, like. Why would anyone have a snowman in their bedroom? There's some incredibly powerful magic known as a simulacrum where you can recreate an entirely whole other person. I don't know. I've the snowman. <laughs> yeah, you make it out of snow. Once other you say that, uh, you say, why would anyone create a snowman? It goes, hi. I hate this place. I hate it. Hey. Hi. Hello. Who are you? My name. I don't have a name. I am a snowman. 
Would you like a name? My pronouns are they, them, by the way. Awesome. Frosty. Would you like, a, would you like one, by the Would you like a name? Um. Sure, but don't tell Master. I don't think she wants me to have a name. Who's Master? Master. Yeah. Who's that? She is the Frost Witch. I don't know her name either. I don't even know your name. Oh, my name's Artie. That's a terrible name. <laughs> wow, you're a judgy bastard for someone without a name. I didn't have parents. That's not a, a valid reason for being such a judgy bastard. <gasps> oh, well, right. you're, you're, uh, you're, Posture you're check. no help. Um, excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. This is just, just a judgy asshole snowman. I say we throw him out the I throw him out the window. Oh, don't you pick could, me up. You could I melt do want to right? check out that window. Don't 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 pick me up. Why not? No reason. What are you standing on top of? Nothing. What are you hiding? No, I'm not. No 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 no. <laughs> mm -mm. Nope. Definitely don't I move me. How big is it? It's medium sized. Just gonna shove it. <laughs> you touch it, roll a wisdom save. Sorry, a con uh, save. Sorry, a con save. Con save? Yeah. Uh, 18. 18? Okay, you don't freeze in place. <laughs> you start to. <laughs> yeah, but you know, like, thankfully, you're also immune to cold damage, right? Yeah. Uh,. I'm resistant. You're resistant. Okay. Nope. 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 Don't do it. Definitely don't move me. I mean, he already did the shove action, so does it like... Does it, I move oh, it? you're right. My bad. Uh, so you push it, and it goes, no, don't. And then it turns into just nothingness and just a pile of snow. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to check out this window. Uh, <laughs> you go over to the window. Um, Mr. Artificer. You find your... Uh, you find a um, Artificer's toolkit. Yes. Excellent. And two health potions. Um, I look around the room. Who looks like they've? Who looks? Who looks weak? The orc has taken damage. Um, between you and the druid, I would say you're the lowest in overall hit points. That's a guess. Let's see, twenty-one, twenty-one. Yeah, you're you're tied for hit points. Okay. With the rogue not too far behind you. I mean, with the temp HP, I don't really need it immediately, so I might as well hang on to it until. Okay. In that case, I'm going to. I'll give one to the rogue, and then I will. I'll give one to. I'll give one to the druid. Just be like, health potions for you guys. Sure. Yeah. I pocket it, but I don't have any pockets. Oh, I have pockets. I can hold <laughs> it for you. <laughs> sure. Yeah. You hang on. I show off my dress pockets. <laughs> <laughs> you approach the door, uh, the window. Um, you can see the balcony. Um. Looks very ruined, disused, but sturdy enough to hold weight. Um, and again, flimsy single pane glass with a with a locking mechanism. You got anything vaguely resembling a? a, 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 a. What happened to that paperclip earlier? Oh, I gave it back. No. Oh. You get anything paperclip like? You, you're like, oh, I gave it back. And then the whole party goes and looks behind uh, Ira, and the one with the paperclip is still there and goes. <laughs> <sighs> Can I borrow your paperclip? <laughs> Take the paperclip and immediately. <laughs> <laughs> And check that lock out. <laughs> I, 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 go, I, in my I improvised thieves tools. In my tinker's tools, I give him a nail. Roll persuasion. <laughs> yeah, uh, roll 17. to unlock the window. 
17? Yeah. Okay. Uh, he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Blood Joker, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Just Excellent. hopping up and down. I, mean, I give him like a, like, a, like a bunk on the head. Like a boop, 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 boop. It kind of, it kind of squishes down. <laughs> Every pat, it gets like flatter. <laughs> And now it's hit, and it's slowly just. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> okay. You unlock the window. It flies open due to the wind and makes a. Uh, roll to try to stop it. Roll of what? Dex save. My help? No. It's not a check, it's a save. Oh. All right, that would be a, a 29. Uh, okay. No, 19, sorry. I don't know where I got extra 10 okay. from. Uh, you catch both, and then the top piece starts sliding down real fast, and you stick your foot out and catch that. <laughs> Look around. And uh, one of the Twingas has blown up and is trying to hold the one on your foot as well and is not making any difference whatsoever. You're almost useful. <laughs> I'll, uh... Goodness. I guess I'll try and slowly... Yeah, you managed to put them down. Uh, you, okay. can, you find latches and stuff like that and you manage to... Oh, okay. So again, just up. You can barely see the balcony. Um, oh, thank you for the bits, Alora. Um, you can barely see the balcony with all the all the fog, um, and the cold hits you. Uh, you are no longer benefiting from the warmth of your cloths. Uh, everyone actually, except uh, Offbeat, is now painfully cold again. I, uh, I'm just going to take a quick peek over the edge of the balcony. So you step out into it? Mm -hmm. Okay. The second you step through the threshold, you find yourself stepping back into the mansion in a different room. I'll step back into the... into the room? You can't. The, so I'm... so I'm split in half now? No, you have fully moved into a different part of the building, and that's where we're going to take our break. So it sucked me through. You step, yeah, I mean, we. I'm not just going to cut you in half and kill you, so. Okay, it's, so I step one foot and teleport it. Sure. Okay, we just want to be clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, be right back, chat. So. We return. I got my hair up. I mean, business. Okay, Kyle, you're in a whole other room. It is dimly lit. And you look behind you and you see almost the exact same balcony. And, and you look at it, it's, it's, it's the same balcony, but you're clearly in a different room. The same bits of ruin are in place. Thanks, go and of, have a good one. What kind of door situation we're looking at? Uh, let me check. Also, what kind of room is it? Is it like a? Bedroom? It is a large bedroom. Uh, you can see, kind of that king-sized bed, uh, dusty, but it has those like curtains over it. And you can see a, a, a fireplace actually burning. Actually, the, there's an actual fire in the fireplace. Excuse me. Um, and uh, implying someone has been here or is coming back soon. There's, sorry, there's a door. All right, I'm going to creep over and peek through the door. You peek through the door? Um... You see a hallway, different hallway. Um, 
you look to the left and you see it opens into a great room you look to the right and it goes on for a ways before opening into a lounge of some kind what's everyone else doing you watched your boy step out into the into it, you watch him just just dissipate into the into the fog and disappear you don't see him on the balcony so he died right he's dead <laughs> you don't know I hadn't ah. thought about the party thinking that actually. <laughs> what are we? Uh. He disappeared. <laughs> uh, put this music. We're in on. a life-threatening situation, and then he just goes like, <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah, hang on. Just uh, I don't have it set up. No, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> All right. Well, it's just us now. That's that sucks. Let's close the hut. Uh, casters, he's making our really cam check. Nice. Arcana check? Okay. Uh, 14. I cast, I count as a caster. Yeah, you're a spellcaster. Yeah. Druids are the, are, you're one of our two full casters. 13. 13? Mm. Six. To your knowledge, <laughs> Boyo is gone. Alright, he's dead. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. I'm just gonna close these windows real quick. And ha, huh, you're no longer dying from cold. Okay. Well, this room sucks. It had an asshole, snowman, and it killed Kai. So I'm just gonna send my unseen servant to the door, and I'm just gonna have At it once. look for anything. I see nothing. Excellent. And then we're just gonna I'm gonna open the door very <laughs> quietly, and I'm gonna continue walking. Okay. You start walking. Uh, roll stealth. And anyone else who is following him, roll stealth. Uh, Jared, what you doing? Kyle. 18. Well, <clears throat> so I guess I'm going to creep towards the big open room. Roll stealth. Offbeat, 18. if you could turn yourself up a little bit. Or just pull the mic closer. Sure. I'll just be closer to it. How's that? It's good. What'd you get, uh, Kyle? 18. 18? Okay. You creep into the room and you immediately, like, pull back and, yeah, and flatten yourself up against the wall. A little bit of that lip yep. before the archway. And uh, you see two skin blue individuals. One in a robe, the other one with armor on and a spear on its back uh, they walk in from a different side of the room their faces are oddly blank their pupils are white uh, but they still have blue rings for irises uh, and you see them look at each other and kind of move their head as if they're talking to each other in, uh, telepathically and then they walk through the spiral staircase they walk down the spiral staircase so it's a it's a large room you can see a piano in one corner um and through one hall through sorry through one door to the south uh you see the hallway that looks familiar across the room to the east you see the hallway that looks familiar behind you is this new hall and to the north you see a spiral staircase going downwards um you do see another door um to the east and it looks like the same door that you guys started in What, what do you mean same door that we started in? Uh, in that rectangular room where you came out of the black eyes. <clears throat> this is probably oh, the okay. westerly door. Mm. Okay. Um, hmm. I guess I'll head that direction. Because, you know, <laughs> I don't know what the lighting situation this room is really. But this room is dark. Um, oh, okay, it's, cool. it's lit I'll from just... the hallways and the like um, So you can you can kind of stick sl- to shadows. Okay. Yeah, you, you stick to the shadows and uh, As you're passing the piano Begins playing This ominous tune um, Party the rest of the party 
you guys are stealthing along the hallway and you hear piano music and all of the little uh sprites the twingos they all begin fizzing and fizzing and dissipating Friends. hands over their ears rocking back and forth and how far away does the music come from maybe 50 feet it's around another corner in the hall i'm gonna whisper to my unseen well i'm gonna telepathically con converse with my unseen servant and be like check around the hall and watch there's a piano it's playing music there's a, a room and a spiral staircase and a couple of other doors Piano. Yes, it's playing music, but no one is at the piano. Okay. It does not see the room. I can I hear anybody coming? Make a perception piano. check. Twelve. No. However, Rogue Kyle, you do hear someone coming. You hear? <laughs> what do you do? You have you have yeah, exactly I... one action. Depends on where I am in this room. You are by the piano. That door. Um, by the piano. Yes. Uh, it's okay. coming from the northeasterly hallway. Uh, well, I'm going to. There's a couple of um. Sorry. So there's a chandelier. Um, there's an ornate fur rug on the ground with like a bear head. Um, a couple of tapestries along the walls by the piano. I'm gonna dash back into the room with the fire. Okay, so you Both quickly roll stealth at disadvantage because you start hoofing it back into the into that prior hallway and into the room. Oh. Um, thirteen. Let me check the passive perception. You just make it. This thing has a passive perception of 12. Nice. Go ahead and post the picture of Vloxen. Everyone, big shout out to Vloxen, our mod. She is the voice in the sky that sometimes talks. Um, this bloodied snout of, an, of a vampiric knoll comes crawling into the room <laughs> in it in it wait a minute is this the is this the puppy that got away from the alphas refresh my memory remember they had that dog that was like teleporting all over the place in the sideways dungeon ah no oh. no but you have fought something like this before that's why it looks familiar okay uh this thing, one of these things was uh, in that first village. Branch. It was the mist. It was Way in the mist. in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it and just blurted it. out and just wrecked it. You, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is 100% why I brought it back. Because oh. <laughs> I love this thing. <laughs> uh, go to the Discord if you want to see a picture of this thing. It's very terrifying. And it, you watch as it gets up on two feet, leaps onto the piano and starts... And uh Artie, you hear your unseen servant go, My lord <laughs> And uh you hear it go And it begins to prowl towards the unseen servant, and then it goes And it turns and begins slowly prowling towards the direction of Kyle. Kyle, you make it to the room of the bedroom. Uh, I'm gonna head to the balcony. Okay. Uh, 
you get up to the you get up to those windows the windows are still open um slightly clattering it's on the other side of the of the house so the wind isn't like making it go bananas um and you see the balcony you pass through and you feel that jerk warping sensation again and you appear in a whole other room <laughs> with a balcony in it um let's see i'm gonna close the window behind me okay you um there is one of these blue humanoids in here uh this one let me get to it Sorry. Um, it turns and it looks at you. Yeah. Um, this one has kind of blackish blue armor with silver inlays and a great sword. And as it looks at you, it looks like it was, um, moving furniture and it looks at you and goes roll initiative just you and me bud You're going first. What's the uh, rest of the room look like? Uh, okay. Um, looks like it was a bedroom, but it's just filled with crates. Okay. So you've got a lot of like things you can storage. perch up and yeah, perch up on top of, move around, hide behind. A uh, very packed room. There's roughly three feet of space between any box. Uh, not really a main pathway. And this. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. What, what, what kind of weapon did this thing pull off? Of Great sword. Nice, 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 nice. All right. I guess I'm going to move in, swing, and disengage. Okay. All right, does a 10 hit? No. Yeah. And you disengage. Uh, it's gonna move along the side of one of the boxes and try to bring the greatsword down on you. That is a seven to hit. So it does not hit, I assume. And it comes down on one of the boxes, which just shatters open the top of it. And uh, lo and behold, some of your stuff. Wow. Nice. As well as some druidic stuff. Does the party hear this? Per uh, passive perceptions. The orc does. The orc hears it from uh, two doors back. Something's going on in the, the piano room over there, or wherever the sound is coming from. Not the piano room. Not the piano room. room. Uh, uh, wherever he dashed to. You're good. All right. Let's go check it out. Roll initiative. All right, Kyle. All right, I'm going to hit again and disengage. All right, roll the hit. Rogue, do the roguey stuff. Roguey bits. How about a 15? 15 hits. Nice. I get to. I get to. Well, I forgot my window was I open. Get to do any super fancy stuff. Five damage. Five what damage. kind of damage? That's a really good question. You do see your stuff down there. So, whatever your equipment is, you can grab like your weapon. Oh, uh, actually, I don't need it. Uh, because every time I'm attacking uh, a 
psionic blade is oh, yes. uh, summoning, and I'm shanking with that. Nice. And it's psychic damage. Psychic damage. You jerk. <laughs> that specifically is good against this guy. Nice. <laughs> Heck, that's cool. That's cool how I that got works those out. Psionics. Um, okay. Uh, let me get everyone else into the turn rotation real quick. Uh, actually, let me just smack you first. Uh, 20, 20 to hit. Dirty 20. Yeah, okay. You take 2d6 plus 2. You take 10 damage. There goes that uh, piercing. Oh, sorry, slashing. Cool. Okay. Um, let's go to Jake. What is Garuk doing? Garuk. Uh, so, are we like in the room or where? No. Where... So you are forty feet um, away from the door to the room. Okay. What's your movement speed? White. No, I mean I can't walk forty feet. Okay. Um, just says you should also have an ability that also you have advantage on attacks that's sneak attack but he's alone well sneak attack doesn't give you advantage you can sneak attack if you have advantage yeah. thank you you're right I believe what you're thinking of is steady aim and that's if you make a ranged weapon attack you can steady your aim as a bonus action to give yourself advantage that's tasty well I guess since I can't do anything else anyway I guess I can dash over there Okay, you use your dash action. That's more than enough to get to the door. Well, if it's 40 feet to the door, that should get him through the door and then 20 yeah, feet. Yeah, that's yeah, 60 I'm just, feet, so I can... You going through the door? Uh, sure. Okay, make a deck save. Oops. 21. Nice! You matrix style throw yourself bend over backwards as this flat ray of force damage goes and, and smacks up against the door up against the wall behind you and you sit up and you're good to go uh, and you would and you, you open the door and it doesn't go off again um, and you see your buddy you see well your associate <laughs> no you're not dead Ah, hey, and you're able to get Welcome all the way the into the room. Also, steady aim works on any attack roll as long as you don't move though during your turn. So you have to ba it like, and then take your normal action, and then take your normal action. Yeah. I will allow you to do that because you have not used a bonus action yet. Wait, what? Jared, hey, my my turn's uh, over. Or oh, is it, it is my over turn again. It is over. Yeah, my apologies. Over. So that was Garuk, yeah. Gar Garuk. I'm sorry. Garrick. 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 I'm writing it down. Garrick. Okay. Um, Artie. All right. So I see them dash inside. I'm going to dash inside too. Okay. You dash action. inside. Uh, once I'm inside, I'm going to use my bonus action. I'm going to load up another shot into my gun. And I'm going to give um, everybody an sound effect. Teammates. Yeah. No. <laughs> gonna give everyone 10 uh i need a little d8 thank you for the sub orc homie they've subscribed for six months yes. let's go half a year homie that i is remember when you joined maximum, us maximum maximum uh temp hp uh 11 temp hp nice nice i'll take it awesome uh Aira. And you said that they were going to stack Aira. or not? Or are they going to overwrite? Uh, I was going to let temp HP stack with chat temp HP. Okay, that's fair. Just question. 
All right, I that's it. Ira. Um, I am going to wild shape. Okay, you wild shape. Um, am I able to do a tiger? I think what so. Things? What's the challenge rating of a tiger? It's a one, but so are. Okay, so I yeah. can do that. You okay. can do that. Yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna do that. You tiger mode. <laughs> Tigers. I'm gonna run to the room. You. What's the movement speed of a tiger? Uh, 40 feet. 40 feet? You make it into the room, and I believe Wild Shape is a bonus action? For Moon, for Moon Druids only, yes. Yeah, so you still have an action. What's going on in the room? You see your allies and one blue-skinned humanoid uh, with a great sword. And he has just brought his great sword down and shattered open a box, and you do spy your Druidic. Uh, gear. I am just gonna hold action. Okay. For. Um. If he moves to attack one of the people that I'm with. Okay. Uh, Kyle, back to you. Start of the round. It also occurs to me that technically my AC is 13 right now because my gear is in the box. Ah, very good. Um. But yeah, I'm gonna do this this steady aim shenanigans. Okay. Steady aim and then attack. Okay. It gives me advantage, right? Sounds like it. Tasty. That is tasty. Which, Which enables your sneak 18, attack. Eighteen to hit. Eighteen yeah. hits. Excellent. That is going to be 12 psychic damage instead. 12 psychic damage. All right. Wow. Okay. That is a good tip. Yeah, you kill it because that does 24 damage. How would you like to do this? Uh, well, I'd steady aim. So I'm going to like take a, a split second to like gauge where the armor and stuff is. We're just going to reach in and just get right underneath. Just right in the kidney or something nice. Yeah. You and all of this clear liquid pours out and it folds over and dies. Uh, you wow. guys bust in. One of them's a tiger. Um, and just in time to watch Kyle dispatch one of these blue skinned creatures, humanoids. Artificer. Wow. Thanks for showing up. Oh, yeah bent over and pick up my studded leather and put that on. <laughs> Luckily, I the vampiric knoll is far enough away that all that noise did not attract it. Guys, I have a way to kill the vampiric knoll. Wait, did anyone cast a spell? No. Nope. Okay. Nope. I've got a way to cast it to kill the vampiric knoll. I pick up my two bags of holding <laughs> from my equipment. You son right. of a bitch. <laughs> PTSD flashbacks to the second campaign I ever ran. <laughs> All right. You have so, an artificer can just make two bags of holding. Artificer can absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Why would Wizards of the Coast allow that? I don't know. <laughs> so if anyone doesn't know it, it, putting a bag of holding inside a bag of holding just destroy you guys. Technically, I'm not going to allow it. Technically could just destroy all of kill. <laughs> well, it's, it's only in 10 feet. No, it's only a 10 foot radius. The portable hole thing. Yeah. It rips fabric of reality and ends like worlds from my understanding. No, it doesn't. No, not all right. at all. All that aside, uh, <laughs> What do you do? Just so that you know, if any, if an extra dimensional space is torn, a rift to the astral plane is torn. Both right. the bag and the cloth are sucked into the void forever. If a portable hole is placed in the bag of hole and blah, 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 the whole bag, any creatures within a 10 foot radius are drawn into the astral plane. I and no everything idea. inside is destroyed. So it does not tear a hole in the fabric of reality and does not end the world. It I thought it was destroyed. like a nuke. No, it just goes whoop. And then everything within a 10 foot radius is gone. Well, sent to the astral plane, specifically. Those bastards lied to me. <laughs> yeah, more than likely. 
It was your second campaign. Guys, my first my first D and D group was a trip. <laughs> I was I was I was a freshy, and they were all veteran DMs, and they 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 Clearly used they every loophole in the book. <laughs> I through, no seriously, chat through this group that I'm playing with right now, and and my other friends that I've played with since, I learned that I actually was so hard on myself learning how to play D D because i had my first group was just a bunch of rule nazis which i n never said i don't know why i said that on stream i shouldn't have said that on stream <laughs> moving right along yeah so looking at yeah. the body um a couple of things one a script um on um Instructions in a hastily scra scratched out parchment pertaining to if the werewolf gets out of hand. Also, looking through all the boxes, uh, everyone gets all their gear back. Yay. Nice. Wait, I'm going to equip my, my inventory. Does I'm anyone going... speak Celestial? Uh, I do. You do. Okay. Excellent in celestial so that the null vampire cannot uh read it uh page 290 oh, i was in the wrong spot entirely okay i love being so wrong it hurts okay vampire weaknesses unusual nature enraged by celestial if the Noel vampire hears words of celestial spoken. The vampire must try to attack the source of those spoken words on its next turn. If these words come from multiple sources from opposite directions, the vampire is restrained. Otherwise, it moves to attack what it perceives to be the closest source. Repulsed by perfume. The vampire has disadvantage on melee attack rolls made by any creature wearing perfume or carrying an open container of it. Stake to the heart. If a piercing weapon made of wood is driven into the vampire's heart while the vampire is incapacitated, the vampire is paralyzed until the stake is removed. And finally, sunlight hypersensitivity, which maybe if a spell was cast, but otherwise within the frost fogs, you're not going to have much luck with that. Uh, but the vampire takes 20 radiant damage when it starts its turn in sunlight. While in sunlight, it has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. All right. Here's my plan to kill the vampire. So I all of that... Jake's character, the orc, uh, uh, Garruk. You read all that in Celestial. Sorry, continue off, Pete. I just wanted to make sure Jake got right. knows I know. that. Right, uh, whole vial of perfume out of pocket. Good thing I grabbed this. Why is that a good thing? It doesn't like perfume. Also. I'm gonna teach you some words in Celestial so we can just talk to it from each side. He's also got those stones. Stones? What? Oh, I can make magical stones that each speak Celestial. But I can make it say these words. Perfect. I can make the three of these stones as I say those words. So, what's the words? I say a sentence God in Celestial. I don't know what yeah. that actually sounds like. Speech put, of the I Holy. Put, I put those recorded. I like, I pick up like this rock and then I push up like a, an arcane button appears and I go, <laughs> and then you speak into it and then it goes like, what plays back like, oh my Lord. Oh my Lord. And I put that in and I put, I kite those rose rocks and then I, 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 give the, I, I keep them on. I give them to each member of the party. One to myself, uh, one to um, uh, Aira, and then one to Kyle. And then I say, now we can use this to restrain it, but I have a way to permanently send this thing to the astral plane. All right? Oh. Yeah? Oh, yeah. You watch as the last of these uh, chingwas, the music never stopped playing on the piano and it is torn asunder and dissipates F sad you do know that there were more of them in that room with the rectangle the rectangular room where you started I'm sorry I, Luna I'm sorry keep, 
killing the they, things. They could have done something. I don't. They interacted with stuff. They could have stopped the piano. Like, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. The heck, get the piano's doing it itself. What are we gonna do with the piano? Sure. Stay away from it. That's it. I'm gonna give both bags of holding to my unseen servant. I'm gonna say. <laughs> Here's your instructions. Of course. When the, vamp when the vampire gnoll comes close to you, mm -hmm. put the bag inside the other bag. Of all right. Easy enough, mate. Do we want to do the, the vampire gnoll or the bigger thing? Let's do it on the bigger thing. Big brain. There's no save. Let's go do that. <laughs> the jaw drops. <laughs> <laughs> That's why, that, that's why I picked Artificer. <laughs> It'll be nice to be able to cast spells. <laughs> Damn yeah. safe! Yeah, you just, you just, it's not going to destroy Kyo, but it will tear them to be like, goodbye! <laughs> Alright, let's use it on the big thing. We'll use, the, we'll use the, the magic rocks to restrain the vampire, and we'll just beat it to death. Alright. I don't know you guys very well, but go team. <laughs> let's, let's hand in the middle. Also, I, uh, I'm gonna, like, touch my forehead like this, and then look really hard at Artie, and then really hard at Garrick, and then link everybody's mind. There's also a tiger Five in the hours. room. There's also a tiger. <laughs> also a tiger. I can only do two people. Okay. Sorry, tiger. <laughs> That's tiger. <laughs> She's gonna chuffs, like, this oh, tiger. Oh, by the way, this is... What? I was gonna. Try. I can't talk apparently. You're good. I was trying to say she does like the little tiger chuff like thing. Oh. Oh, <laughs> in agreement. By, by the way, this is unsettling. Is a, I this regret. Is, this I is, can only uh, do so this, much. This is this the satyr. Remember the satyr woman. This this is her. Satyr woman. Turned into this. Oh this oh cool. oh the druid. Okay cool 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 yeah. cool 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 ah, cool, yes. cool cool cool. Yeah. Uh, everybody gets their stuff back. Um. Okay. Uh, uh, Ira, I know you're Wouldn't in tiger form. Like any extra, not belong to us, but like I'm getting okay. there. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, three things, Mister Artificer. That's a construct. The blue, the blue boy. It's the most lifelike construct you've ever seen in your life. It makes no passed, sense at all. You passed one of those in the other campaign, in the, in the main campaign You too. did! You remembered! I'm so yes. proud of you! You found I, a I dead brought... one and never pursued it. Yeah, we didn't have enough information. Oh no, you <laughs> didn't find a dead one. You passed another one in, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, anyway, no, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. It wasn't dead, it was protecting and, and navigating. But yeah, you guys, like we helped whoever was protecting them left. Like, so this cool, is just this is a funny thing, just a little DM thing. You guys have been around these blue people so many times and just never, never happened to see them. Uh, and that's not anything it's you guys. It's just one of those like, well, I guess not today. Oh, I guess not today. All right, cool. No worries. We'll get there eventually. <laughs> and so this go around, I'm prepping for this one shot. And I was like, blue people. <laughs> Finally. Majin or what they're called. Um, Megan. No, no. I'm going to like, I'm going to take some arbitrary notes just like on how on their working and stuff. So, yeah. test, so I can like pursue recreating them in the future. Yes. Uh, uh, cleric, you find a lantern. Of tracking okay a lantern of tracking you decide what creature type you want it to keep track of and then whenever one of those is within um 200 feet the light turns green it doesn't directly point it at where it is it just hey it's nearby um and finally ira sorry i said your name and then had to come all the way back around to you um you find a strange Book. To be brief, the codicil of white 
is a tall, thin volume bound in white ermine fur over seasoned boards of white pine and sealed with a clasp and lock of tarnished silver. The book is cold to the touch, and the fur is worn about the edges from use. Twenty-seven pages long within are vellum painted with silver gilt of the outer edges. The whole is soon to a leather binding with strips of sinew, making it quite durable. While you hold this, you have resistance to cold damage. And it does other stuff. But you don't know what yet, because you're a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna force you to unwild shape. Also, hail hydrate! I only have bad choices around me. Then make those bad choices. Oh, I found a water. I only have liquor and and, and energy drinks. <laughs> <laughs> I found some. I found my bedside water. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh. I had something else I wanted to say. So you have the book. Um, are you, um, again, I'm not forcing you to come out of wild shape. I know you only have so many of those, but are you gonna unwild shape so that you can attempt to read it? Or are you gonna hand it off? It is in druidic. I'll come out of wild shape. Okay. Um, this is called Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. It seems that this is a very important book in the rituals that, that teach the rituals passed down over the generations of how to become a frost witch. The tattooing, the blinding of one eye, the mutilations. Um... The codicil was written by the followers of Aurora as a primer on her worship. The first page of the title is a snowflake symbol of Aurora on it. The remaining pages describe various priestly rituals and ceremonies in chilling detail. Um, you learn the spell Frost Fingers. Uh, and finally, there is a riddle. Make a um, wisdom check to see if you can piece together this riddle. Um, 18. From the pages of this tome, an ancient magic makes its home. As palm opens wide and arm extends, a bitter magic cracks and bends. The chill of winter fills your bones and presents thee with a force unknown. Thus use your power of ice and snow as like the cold it's soon to grow. 18. There is a specific breaking that eighteen. Okay. It takes ten minutes but reading aloud this incantation that you learn, you can split a glacier down the middle if you so choose. That's pretty cool. And this includes true ice. Not black ice though. spells to wake it up, right? I don't know any spells, but... <laughs> well, You're like, yeah. Wouldn't it be better to catch it unaware as well as asleep? Why is it still asleep, though? We might run into the vampire. So what I think might be good is we get two birds with one stone. We place these rocks in this room and all the corners. 
then what we do is I send my unseen servant outside with the bags of holding. You, you said you had passed without trace. You cast that, I cast invisibility, you can hide, and sadly, you're just kind of screwed for a bit. Uh, no, sorry, Eric, but yeah, then I... as, the, as the hammer guy runs into the hallway, my unseen <laughs> servant will be waiting there. The unseen servant, as soon as the thing gets close to it, places the bags inside the bag and brings them both to the astral plane. That allows us to cast spells again. And then, the hopefully, the vampire, that weird vampire knoll thingy can find us, and then it will arrive and into this room, and then it will immediately be surrounded by all the speaking of the celestial words, trapping it. Yeah, you don't need to necessarily kill it, you just need to trap it. As long as the as long as the celestial keeps going and isn't isn't interrupted, it's basically restrained. Well, assuming you do it just right. How's that sound? Like the plan? I, do, I did also find this powder stuff that would potentially let me just make everybody invisible. Oh, then we do that, including passes on trace to wake it up. Leave it here. Well, should we try it? Let's go. I feel like it's a good plan. I want to get out of here. I'm going to do one last investigative search of this room just in case we're missing anything. So, for one thing, in case you guys hadn't put this together, if you step onto the balcony, you exit into, I guess, some random room, or maybe there's some sequence. Let's see. Well, that's good to know. So if we need a bail, uh, Kyle. I can't be more than I can't be more than sixty feet away from my unseen servants. So otherwise, they will disappear. This would be in the event that the unseen servant thing doesn't work out. Oh, okay, that could work. Kyle, you are the only one who is still painfully cold, I believe. You have one level of exhaustion. I mean, like the window is closed, though. I know, but you're in okay. a cursed house that is very cold and uh if i remember correctly he got the coat the cape yeah. coat thing we're you're right cloak. okay we're good also i have my armor now and my gear okay that yeah like sorry that's just been now. a fuse I'm, that's I'm been ticking clothed. in the back of my head <laughs> yeah. well I'm probably not even wearing that cloak anymore hmm. i've got my own cloak let's give it a try i'll be down my bags of holding though and that really i can only do this once a day can we give it a shot yeah. All right. Sounds like a best shot. Dust, pass without trace. An unseen servant, <laughs> stand outside the hallway. And as soon as you see the big hammer thing get within 10 feet of you, put the bags inside the bag. He, and I'll see you there's the a, there's a moment of pause and goes, it's been an honor, sir. I'll summon you back in like 10 minutes. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> 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 okay. All right dust first so the dust goes out and everyone within 10 feet so you all have to kind of crowd together um turns invisible so it does specify that it needs to be within 10 feet of me yeah yeah we all get close to him okay so just just apply invisibility okay yeah i thought for a second you might have to stay within that radius oh yeah 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 um oh let me roll this uh let me roll this d4 uh, 2d4 4 minutes 4 minutes of invisibility okay uh, I place the rocks in the corner like in the cent- like in the corners of the room like I want enough so that if you get into the center of the room that they will all be surrounding whatever enters the center of the room okay, okay. and I cast fast without trace alright we all get plus 10 to stealth now <laughs> I sure hope this works. For RT! Alright, that worked. <laughs> well done. The ground That's how I got kicked. shakes. That's how. As a, as a hole was briefly ripped open to the astral plane and the two of them were <laughs> sucked into it. And then it closed. That's how I was, 
That's how I was kicked out of engineering school. <laughs> was it by accident or on purpose? Well, I saw some random scribblings from some guy named Monkey Paw, I think. And he told me about this bag of holding trick. So I, I thought I'd test it out, and they kicked me out of school. <laughs> it's a great trick, though. Nice. I hope I can find whoever that guy was and thank totally him. I'll give him some it. bags of holding. <laughs> Please don't break my campaign. <laughs> I won't. I'm just gonna give up. I just want one bag of holding for the party. I'm Love you. It's just a trick for the one shot. <laughs> Off me. All right. All right. Um, and now that made a lot of noise. Yes, Is and you hear it. <laughs> the door. Uh, which was pulled open from the from the rift. You see two up by the top of it. You see two bloody uh, paw claws, like, and it locks up uh, visibility. Um, it, Should we do stealth checks? Uh, you're hidden, but yes. Uh, okay. Jeff, we get advantage. Saw the music good out of it. The music should come down a bit. Okay, thank you. So we all have advantage and plus ten to stealth now. Yep. You, Aira, and Dust. Goodness. Okay. That's a twenty-eight. Twenty-four. Net twenty. Oh, you had plus ten, so that would be a thirty-four. Oh, thirty. You're right. Thirty-four. Fame Thirty-six rolls. for me. Thirty-six. Total? What do we have total? Sorry, not okay. total. You, did anyone roll lower than an 18? Then it nope. does not perceive you. It's... And it slowly begins padding into the room. At this point, it should be hearing the sounds of okay. the rocks. As yeah. it steps into the center, it recoils. And m much like you see that a dog where the both owners like split up and it can't decide which way to go, it... And it just stays there. Is it still on the ceiling for this? Yeah. Did it work? Yes. All right. Congratulations. Why just stealth. Why don't we just right. stealth right past it? Let's just stealth out of here. And so um, you leave it in the room. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close the door. <laughs> leave it alone. You close the door. You still hear the piano music lilting in a, a, a inverted minor key, okay. which is not a thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, now we can... The thing's gone, so we should be able to cast spells, right? Hope so. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm basically useless. Um, I'm going to take 10 minutes. Okay. And hope and recast my Unseen Servant. Really? Like... And I, once I solve the mathematical equation... You're back! Oh, Artie! How My was Lord. your trip? How was your trip? Incredibly disturbing. <laughs> they don't want us in heaven. <laughs> well, that's not as yeah. <laughs> that's fair. Is he getting sent back for a chance? Or is he stuck there? He is... Uh, he is a swarm. He is knee-deep in enemies. Angels. Celestial beings take issue with his existence. I don't believe he will be returning anytime soon. I also had a quite a painful experience. Thank you for asking. I was just about to ask. I'm, I'm, I, I, it was quite a painful experience, but I did it for you, my lord. My life I'm so for art. I, I, I'm thank, I thank you for your service. Of course, Very I, much so. I live to and, serve. And, and you will continue to do so. Let's get out of here. My I hate life this dream. place. 
and you don't hear anything come to get you. Right, we can cast spells now. Nice. Okay, let's start getting... In, uh, I don't have um, any cool stuff anymore, though. I don't have any infusions. But you sad. solved all them problems. Yeah. Um, well, let's check out the piano. Killed our friends. Mm -hmm. What's the piano looking like? Just the keys are playing invisibly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A most I disturbing invested. jaunty tune. If I investigate it, could I potentially figure out if it's like a magical mechanism that's doing this? Or yeah, make an arcana check. While he's uh, doing that, I'm going to kind of peek around elsewhere in the room. Oh, I can I can cast guidance on myself now. Great. You hear, um, you kind you of make a perception check. What's up, bat? I? Yes. Thy. Okay. Thine? Th th you. Yes. <laughs> I got a 23 on the arcana check. Okay. Um, It seems to be a perimeter, a perimeter trap of some kind. Um. Oh yeah, I can. Okay. Um, I spell magic. Did I take that? No, I didn't. That's a second level spell anyway. Okay. Ten. Ten. Uh, you hear mechanical, um, grindings and the like from below. Uh the next floor down of the spiral staircase. All right, I'm going to... What kind of s staircase is it? Is it like spiral. metal? It's, oh, um... Right, no, I get the spiral part. <laughs> is it like Sorry. open or is it closed? It, you know, is it a solid or is it like a grate kind of? It is like a grate. So like each slat, like, you, you know how you walk down those and you have an annoying sibling who might like reach out and grab your ankle? Mm-hmm. Me. Um, can I can I look down through the stairs or do I need to look over the stairs? Uh, with a ten, I'm trying you don't currently see, but yeah, you, you can stealth and on your on your stomach and kind of peek through the slats. Yeah, that's yeah. Okay, roll stealth. What's everyone else doing? Let's hear from Jake and Luna. What you guys up to? Just kind of. Following along. Are we all going downstairs? Or are you just no? Nah, he's just he's just peeking. Remember, you still have plus ten. Right. Yeah. Thirteen. God. Plus ten. How'd you get a thirteen? I Ooh. rolled pretty bad. <laughs> Yikes. That's a three. <laughs> okay. With, a, with advantage. Actually, no. I'm sorry. It's a dirty twenty. I don't have advantage anymore. The invisibility is gone. Dirty oh, twenty. True. Uh, what book are we talking about? Uh, the, uh, most of these, almost everything tonight is from Icewind Dale. And, uh, we, Rhyme of the Frost Maiden, which I'm completely doing homebrew world and lore. I'm just pulling from it and making it my own. So you hear things like Frost Maiden and Frost Witch. It's not whatever's in the book. It's my own shindig. Um. Okay, you see these magen. These blue humanoid constructs making more of themselves. Seems like there should be a rule against that. <laughs> uh, yeah, some 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 artificer, one of my professors, his name was Asimov. <laughs> yeah. He had a bunch of rules. No one follows yeah. them. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you do see uh that they're pulling from a large book. One of them stands up, is slightly floating off the ground, stands above the book, and seems to be overseeing and dictating um, everyone's work. And you also see a large pile of failures, failures in one corner. Uh, it's a large room, um, uh, and there's a hallway leading to, it only goes down the one floor, but you do see across the room, uh, leading to a hallway with large ornate stairs going downwards again. Maybe kind of exity. Eyebrows. 
find. I'll turn my attention back to what everybody else is doing. Um, you like, are you telling us what you're seeing with the telepathic link that you made? Yeah, I mean, if you're if you're there, not concentrated on the piano, sure, yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm here. Ira. Oh yeah, telepathic link. I forgot. I'm the one that cast it, and I forgot yeah. about the telepathic link. While you guys are all conversing with your telepathic link, okay, Ira, just relay all that. you do hear a small happy chorus from the rectangular room that you guys started in, and you see the face of one kind of peek through, phasing through the door, and kind of of the little of the little uh, uh, creatures. These little these little um, elemental boyos. What are they called? The Twingas. piano's still playing. Oh, I'm sorry. I assumed he stopped it. Oh, I yeah, got ahead I of myself. Been, I, I would have. I would go and like start if I if I, if I know where it's causing it. I'm well. I'll, I'll like. Turn You're it able off. to disable it either physically or otherwise. It's still the piano. It's still. It's yeah. just magically being played. So you, even I'll physically, you can the, disable. I'll snip all the strings for the yeah. piano. Yeah. You hear a. Sorry. Then you hear a joyous chorus. Yeah, um, I was just gonna walk over to them and be like, "Hi, you're safe. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> That's good." And they kind of <laughs> waddle over to you <laughs> in their adorable little floaty way. Well, let's go and sneak out of here, everybody. This place sucks. Agreed. All right. I'm gonna uh, now cast invisibility on myself okay. with my shadow, with my shadow touched ability. Okay. You know how many of those guys are down there? We gotta get past them. I would say we're still invisible because of the dust, uh, the powder of displacement. No, that was only four minutes long. Oh. Okay. Um, I the pass without a trace can last up to an hour. Nice. Yeah. yeah, we're still past without trace, but yeah. the dust is gone. I mean, I can burn the. There's just not a lot of dust left in here. You got one more I mean, use. Uh, so I, how many I people could are in the room? It, but what's that? How many people are in the room? Um, three. Only three. Only three. You can also kill them and take the book. One of them is floating, though. That said. It did take the one that I fought earlier. Really didn't like my abilities. So. You can use our spells now. Let's take them out. Should we give it a go? I sure. mean, let's do it. I, 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 I'm gonna. Can I peek in and get an assessment? Make can a I perception talk to God check. for a moment and say, <laughs> hey, if I fight that wizard guy, does he look better at me than magic, or does he just look like a guy? Make an insight check. <laughs> Love you. Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. Heck. Why the? Where in the butt? Okay. <laughs> eh. Eh? Eh. It's it's gonna be a fight. Much much of a muchness, like we're probably equals, you might say. Yeah. Okay. Let's take him out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Maybe sneak down the stairs so we're not yeah, trapped in down. a small space. <laughs> let's sneak down and surprise him. Yeah. All right. Shall we stealth? DM. You shall stealth. That's a you call, G. All right, we stealth. Did we re-up the invisibility or no? I mean, if we're stealthing, it's just stealth either way. We still have that plus 10. So stealth will just give us advantage. Right. I'm using my stealth so that I have shadow touched and can just do that. But... I have guidance too, that's right. Yeah. Oh yeah, guidance. Oh wait, no, I can't. I'm concentrating on shadow touch. Twenty-eight. Okay. I Ready got forward. a twenty-seven. Good night, Twoggle. Twenty-seven. Okay. A nineteen. Okay. 
rogue, don't fail us. 24. 24. Nice. Oh, I missed it. Um, all right. The four of you slowly make your way down the spiral staircase. They continue to work. The one who uh, looks like a fighter is significantly um, inefficient at this task. Whereas the other one, who seems to be a uh, caster of some kind, seems a bit more deft. And the third one again, focusing on the book. How far, how high is it floating? Um, 10 feet. It's pretty high. Okay. The pedestal is... with the book is also very high up. Annoyingly high. Mm -hmm. Um, I can shoot him. All right. Yeah, I so... can get to him. I mean, I can't get to him, but I can, I can damage him. That's fine. It's just... Okay, okay. Can't really get sneak attack. On a mm -hmm. regular basis. Well, I say that. I mean, if you just go for the fighter, I'm pretty sure I can. I can take out the guy who's floating. You can take out the fighter. Um, okay. Yeah, we should be good. All right. I can. I can try to make it so the other two don't fight. That might be good. Buy us a round. Because um, as long as we we can like get them out of the way. Yeah. You guys will have the surprise focus. round. How's your hit points, right. by the way? Someone took some serious damage. Who was it? Uh, I took six damage. Okay. I still got. I'm still max health with 11 temp HP. I took 10 temp HP damage earlier. Oh, that's, that's, right, that's right. And then it got refreshed to 11 again. Mm -hmm. so you okay. Got, yeah. So. Okay. okay. Good. So, uh, Just... well, if they're all if they're all surprised. Yeah, surprise okay. round. Roll initiative. Well, surprise round, and then we'll roll initiative. Technically, there is no surprise round by the baby, but I had to oh. got you. There's, we just take our turn and they're there. We just don't call it a surprise round. Thank you. Okay, they're, so we roll like initiative. Y'all yeah, go, like and then yeah. we go again. Yeah. Okay, so I got an 18. Put them in the chat. But uh, yeah, do also say it out loud for the viewers. Yeah. 21. Finally, a roll that's Shame. above 10. That feels good. <laughs> Mm. 17. <laughs> it's a shame it's wasted on an initiative. I mean, initiative's good and all, but... I'd rather hit. Uh, okay. Offbeat, your character's name is... Artie. Thank you. I'll get there, guys. I'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> Jared with a 21. Well done. Rogue and stuff. Not that I'm getting really any bonus from that. All right, Kyler, up first. All right. I'm gonna go over to the fighter and uh I don't know if that You have advantage on attack rolls because you are technically he technically can't see you. Nice. That's what I was wondering. You are basically have full cover until the invisibility wears off. Nice. So that is a twenty-one to hit. Twenty-one to hit hits. Mm, I wish I could. This would be a great time for a crit. Uh, seven psychic damage. Seven Actually, psychic I have a bonus damage. attack. Okay. I'm going to swing again with my other hand. Very good. Also, as I go, another, a second psionic dagger. Smaller appears in my hand. All right, that's going to be a 19 to hit. 19 hits and 
Actually, I was doing a dumb. So that... So just three more psychic damage, and then... Uh, that will be... So five more psychic damage total. Five, got it. I already done. Yeah. Sorry, six. Okay. So seven and then six. Seven was the first one. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That one. Oh, no. Uh, Artie. All right. So Artie is going to cast Chaos Bolt, which he learned from being an engineer. Okay. And he's going he's gonna to take out his pistol. He's going to spin the revolver and then insert these magic bullets. And then he's going to fire. And that's because I don't know what damage type this is going to be. But first and which one are you firing at? At the, at the mage. The so wizard. there's two mages. One's floating 10 feet in the air. Floating. floating okay. High. Okay. That is a freaking crit. Let's go. Let's go. Exclamation yes! point crit in the chat. I crit so I've crit more with this guy than I do with Ziller. This is awesome. <laughs> um, okay, so that is going to be 4d6 plus 4d8 plus 2d6. And I will tell you what damage I deal in a few moments. Is uh, that's how the spell works. Um, so these two will be my spent damage. Okay. Two and or eight. Two uh, and damage. or eight? Thunder damage is what I deal. Okay. So that is going to be seven, 15, 16, 20, 23 thunder damage as the <laughs> blast from the gun. Okay. It's bloodied. Uh, Ira. All right, I am going to cast a uh, second level ice knife and fling it at the floaty mage. Okay. And that does 1d piercing, which is 7. And then 12 cold damage. 12 cold damage. Okay. And then I'm going to use my bonus action to um, wild shape back into a tiger. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, Garrick. So there's the fighter, there's the floaty boy, and there's another one. Yeah, who is also a caster of some kind. I'm going to attempt to cast Calm Emotions. Okay. Which will make them indifferent to us. All of them? It's a 20-foot radius sphere, so yes. All right. Uh, I need Charisma saving throws. So they're all rolling at advantage. What do they have to make? Uh, 13. They all save. One with a 20, one with a 15, and one with a 21. Badge. And as a bonus action, I will cast Sanctuary on myself. Okay. That's the end of the quote-unquote surprise round. Kyle, you're up first. Excellent. I'm going uh, to do the same thing again. Slightly different. Uh, does a 14 hit? No. I'm going to try again. Does a nat 1 hit? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> um, a nat 1, huh? I would, yeah. That said, not really much to go on there. Okay. Um, I'm 
you manage to kind of stumble in your attack and you bring it down on the half-built construct that uh, he's working on. Make a deck save. As a small explosion goes off. That I can do. Okay, a decent roll. All right, so it's a dirty 20. Okay, so you pass. You're going to take half damage. Okay. You take half of 18 uh, damage, force damage. Is that your turn? Does El Boyo also get caught in that? Yes. <laughs> uh, Alright, that makes it its turn. It's gonna turn around and try to hit you with its greatsword. That's disadvantage Here. to hit. Why? Because he's invisible. Ah, thank you. First unless the one. dust of dryness, unless the dust actually casts invisibility, in which case we would all be visible now. It does actually cast invisibility. Then we are all visible. Okay. My apologies. Uh, first hit is a 17. Does that hit? Yep. And the second hit is a 21. Of course it is. Hey, now. You're a rock star. <laughs> Shame on. <laughs> that hurts a little. Yeah, that hurts more than the damage. Uh, well, you haven't heard the damage yet. Sixteen slashing damage. All right. All right. Um, and that's from two attacks. Um, all right, that's its turn, Artie. All right. I'm going to use my bonus action, place my, my other gun on the ground, and it's going to go go near where I just saw everybody. Uh, Freaking what's your name got stick, got shanked, and I'm going to make it do a, a ping of temp HP. Okay. Yeah. That is seven temp HP. Seven temp nice. HP. Nice. I will take it. How you looking? My action. I'm going to spin Total my of 17. Spin a barrel and shoot another chaos bolt with floaty boy. <laughs> that is a 16 to hit. 16 to floaty boy? Yes. 16 hits. Nice. Roll high damage. Okay. <laughs> well, this is pretty cool. So I rolled the same number on chaos bolt. Now, if you don't know what that does, that means the bolt sparks to another person for the damage type okay. <laughs> so the damage is psychic okay this first bolt it's uh so this guy's gonna take 12 19 psychic damage Floating 19 blood. psychic damage all right that one seven. that one just dissolves into that fi into a fiery clear liquid and then the, the sparking in the air is now going to go and target the guy that stabbed the, um, what's your name? Kyle. <laughs> stabbed Kyle. Okay. That is a dirty 20 to hit. Dirty 20 hits. All right, come on. Give me another spark. Damn it. No, I didn't get one. That would have been so sick though. Seven plus nine. That is nine. Um, I can pick between six and one poison. Uh, nine acid damage. Nine acid damage. Let me do some quick math. By quick math, I mean math math. Nine, sorry, nine damage. Yeah, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He also 
deteriorates into a liquidy, clear liquid, fiery puddle. Nice. nice. All right. Is that your turn, Artie? That is my turn. All right. The last one is going to see all this, having literally just turned around. It hasn't even been touched yet, and just goes... Yong, and this huge static discharge goes off. Everyone, make DC 14 deck saves. Deck saves? Come on. With disadvantage if the creature is wearing armor made of metal. Studded, <laughs> studded leather. Is that metal? Dang it. I don't know, I'll is it? You... I mean, it's not made of metal. It ex is accentuated by metal. It has metal made on it. it. Yeah, yeah, I would say it's not made I mean, of metal. Yeah, we're also okay. like holding metal. Well, I'm not, but. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 18. 18, you're good. 16. 16, you're good. 24. 24, 16. you're good. Dirty 20. Dirty 20. What was that, Jake? I missed it. 16. 16. All right, everyone's good. Uh, Everyone's going to take half damage. Of 4d10 plus some stuff. Gross. Yup. Not fun. I was going for gross. One takes half of 31 lightning damage. Ah, cool. Oh, are you down? I am down. All right. Yep. He's down. Uh, damage. Okay. And then it's going to turn to offbeat and raise a hand. Uh, dirty 20 to hit. Okay. I'm fine. <laughs> fine, everything's fine. Just basic, <laughs> just basic unconscious. I'm good. You take ten right. lightning damage. I'm going to absorb elements as a reaction, I and hate that's actually you. fine. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um. Ira, your turn. You watch the rogue go down. Things just got serious now. <laughs> eh. <laughs> It's unconsciousness. So since he's unconscious, do I got him. Um, does that mean I can try to wake him, or you can wake him, or you the... can attack, leave, or leave him to the cleric? Just attack. Is the the mage still floating? No, there's okay. only one left, and it's the mage that was by the table. Okay. Um, how far away from me do you say he is? About fifteen feet. Okay. You have movement speed. You are a tiger. I, I, I do. I just if he was a certain distance away, I can pounce at him. But I you can move up. And you can like do, no. Can I mean, back. I'm further. I'm, oh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go yeah, yeah, yeah. five feet. Run in a circle. Then... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go back five feet and That's then run forward. Okay. All right. Twenty and pounce. Do you a pounce? And I need Ow. a. I need a DC. 13 strength check. That's a four. Good oh, play. He's knocked prone. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And with the tiger, I can use a bonus action to make a bite attack. Nice. Nice. So that would be a... Guys, do we need to end right at 10 or can we go a little over? Can go over. Like a few minutes, okay. not a lot. We got 18 to hit. 18 hits. Double checking. 18 does hit. Oh, that's 10. And then we got nine piercing damage. Nine piercing damage. Very good. And correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, your pounce knocks him prone, but he doesn't take damage from that. No, he doesn't. Okay. So nine damage is the first time it's taken damage this fight. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, is it your turn? Yes. Garak. Uh, Gar yeah. Garak, sorry. All right. Um, uh, actually, on the on the pounce, you first have to hit with a claw attack, and then you and then oh. you knock prone. So I mean, we get more damage. Okay, then I'll just 
do that. So you hit, as you as you, you have to hit with a claw attack and then you knock it prone and then you can do that. So stuff. you pounce, make the claw attack. Yeah. And okay. then it makes the strength. Okay, I read it gotcha. wrong. No, you're good. Chat's worried about you, Jared. Yeah, it's soft, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine, everything's fine. Thanks. I'm fine. Not able to say that because I'm unconscious, but <laughs> Yeah, my character can't say it, but as a player, I'm not scared. I'm not worried. That would be a 16 to hit. That hits. So roll your damage, and then we'll say all the rest happens. And then a four to slash four slashing damage. Four slashing damage. Alright. Garrick. Uh I'm going to just kind of point at Boyo on the floor with a quick bonus action healing word. The old get him up. <laughs> get on up, boy. Roll your get heels. On up. <laughs> this was a D D four plus spellcasting mod. Kyle, five. you're on deck. That is a grand total of five health back for you. <laughs> I you're will. Uh, I'll take it. Uh, and then I will turn to the mage and I will attempt a hold person. Ooh, it gets advantage on that. Um, yeah. What's it have to make? 13. Wait, that's two leveled spells in one turn without action surge. Isn't that? Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, I can't do it. It's a bonus action. Yeah that's, yeah, that's specifically the rule that disables that. If it's a bonus action, you can only cast a cantrip with your main action. That's so dumb. I agree. Yeah. So I'll let you choose. Uh, you want to do the damage, or you want to do the hold, or you want to do uh, the get him up. I mean, he's prone. We can probably take him at this point. You're right. Um. So stupid. Down. Uh, then, then uh, here's what I'll do. And oh, that's an action I can't. Well, you can do a non-spell for an action. But cantrip as well. Yeah, but I don't have uh, an extra bonus action, so I wanted to do. Yeah, you can do a healing uh, word, and then and then a cantrip, right? I, uh, I mean, I don't have any cantrips that are actually. Uh, I've guidance mending and spare the dying, so. Oh. <laughs> I was I like, see. oh, I'll just spare the dying, and then, but spare the dying is a whole action. Uh, How far is he away? Can you just run up and bop him. It's twenty feet. I can... How does he look? He looks fine. I mean, he's on the ground, but... On yeah, the he's, ground. He's looking all right. He's prone. Yeah. Hmm. I like that, in, that, that interpretation. <laughs> Boom. Well, then, if I can only do one thing, I'll go over to him and I'll cure wounds to give him a little more. Okay. Oh, heck. Roll them hit points. So I can only do one action anyway. So subtract those six hit points you did get. Or just add the difference, whatever. If he's undoing the healing word, he's going to do the cure yeah, wounds. It was just, it was five. Oh, five. <clears throat> Is that your turn? Uh, yeah. The cure wounds was also five? No, no, I was saying the... I was telling the healing word was five. Uh, okay, yeah. oh, max health, baby. Oh, hey. 11. Nice. Kyle, you come too. Go Mets. Oh, actually, is my feature bonus action? Let's go, Mets. Love the Mets. No, it's an action. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Is that I'm your up. turn? Uh, well, the first thing I'm going to do... Oh. You got that? You got that potion I handed you earlier. <laughs> Hand reaches in. The dress has pockets. <laughs> I told you're still wearing the dress. We found our gear. Well, that's right. I forgot. Yeah, no, I ditched the dress a long time ago. 
I totally <laughs> forgot we had gear. <laughs> he's like, he's like, no. Fix his armor class back to eighteen. I'm gonna be the prettiest orc at the party. <laughs> I'm not still wearing the dress. Tucks the corset back in the <laughs> Get that potion going. Where's my other D4? Uh, oh, well, I'll just... Okay, there it is. <laughs> All right. Get a further 7 HP back. And then I'm going back in. Uh, run up and stab. He's prone. Yep. That's that's a lot of damage. That's advantage. Hopefully. No. It's worth a uh, exclamation though. This is a 17 hit. Mm, yes. Cool. Eleven psychic damage. Eleven psychic damage. Prone just gives you advantage to hit, right? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah and also they have thought. disadvantage on deck saves. Alright, already. Sorry, uh right. sorry, hang on. Jared, are you done? Yeah, I'm done. Okay, already. All right, I'm going to run over to him. Um, and I'm going to use my shadow touch to uh, inflict wounds. Ah, very good. He's rolling an advantage. Or is it a just roll to hit? It's advantage. Because he's prone. It's a melee attack. Okay, so just a normal roll then. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to re-roll because I rolled two. And I, that way I don't have to pick between the two. Well, why are you rolling? I rolled a hit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, My you bad. don't roll for. I bet. Yeah. Uh, and so, and also because of I absorbed elements of that lightning bolt, I get that an extra D6 because it's a melee attack. That is a 24 to hit. 24 hits. Yay! Big damage. <laughs> Big damage. Big damage. 20. 20. Should I separate necrotic into lightning? No. 29 damage. 29 damage. Wow. Tasty. This is my my hand just like turns into this inky black tendril and I wrap around it. And, just... and that kills it. How would you like to do this? Uh, the inky black tendril is just going to surround it and just going to like wrap around it and start twisting and crunching it and then just one final like as it just coils and snaps its head off. Okay. It's gonna And, and it I'm gonna pop some temp H and then dissolves into hits. fiery uh fiery liquid. Um everyone you get eleven temporary hit points as well as I fire my gun. One last nice. time. The fire begins spreading. Quickly, get the book. I grab the book. It's ten feet up I'm... on a pedestal. I jump up and get the book. Okay. You get the book. Um, it is a seventh level spell to create these things. As well as a bunch of other pre-work that has to go in. But it is a seventh level transmutation spell called Create Majin. Um, you need to place true ice within the chest of a life-size human doll stuffed with ash, dust, or snow. Then you step up, stitch up the doll and drip your blood on it at the end of the casting, which takes one hour. You tap the doll with a crystal rod, transforming it into a magen clothed in whatever the doll was wearing. The type of magen is chose by, chosen by you at the, during the casting of the cell spell. When the magen appears, your hit point maximum decreases by the amount equal to the magen's challenge rating. Minimum reduction of one. Only a wish spell can undo this reduction to your hit point max. Any mage you create with this spell obeys your commands without question. It seems like they are not actually able to talk, but they are able to understand specifically only its cre their creator, which means they're trying to communicate with facial features and hand gestures, and they weren't actually able to communicate telepathically. The fire quickly spreads. The party rushes down the stairs, finding the double doors. And as the rogue checks for traps, it, he is able to determine that the only trap is that of a large alar alarm. And he pulls open the doors. Large alar alarm goes off. 
and you run out into the snow and fog as the party flees this horrifying mansion. One of you looks back over their shoulder and watches the mansion dissipate into fog. For a couple of days, the party wanders through the frost fogs until finally they find themselves in the spine. Avoiding the sulfur holes, they go north and find themselves starving, weary, on their third level of exhaustion. At the front of a keep, a goblin peers up and goes, <laughs> What you want? Go ahead. We're tired and hungry, and you're ugly. Please let us in. Or I'll set the dragon on you. And an older gentleman stands up and goes, Clearly they are starving and broken. If it's a ruse, the Lord will dispatch of them. They clearly would not be able to handle Lord Arthalos and his merry men. And... Lord Arthalos. And slowly Mary. the gate he comes down with a with a hitch in his stride and opens the gate and goes, Come in, we'll get you some food. We'll hear your story. And the Lord will decide what to be done with you. We come from a place um we were kidnapped. I'm an artificer. Uh we have skills that we can perchance provide. I can make magic items. Come in. Soon you guys are eating stew from a very grumpy uh, chef who is sur- who is being berated by a by an older portly gnome woman uh, who is cussing him out over the fact that he used turnips instead of garlic. Uh, in the background, White Knuckle, he sits there, kind of listening to your story, and uh, a sm- another gnome who seems to be in charge of all the other gnomes is watching, and his name is Tommy. Thomas. And he kind of nods along and goes, I think... I think you might be able to be of use here. But I'll not have the final say until Lord Arthalos gets back. Where is this Lord Arthalos? I also have some information from the place I came from that might concern him. You see, when we got those memory strands back, my name is Artie. Is, does your Arthalos's name spelled A-R-T-H-E-L-O-S? Arthalos? Close, but yes. He had a memory strand. They look at each other. They look back at you and goes... I think you should start from the beginning. And that's where we will end our one shot.